Good morning, everyone. I hope and pray you are doing well, enjoying the sunshine today. I'd like to start my devotional by reading the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse 37 to 40. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? In the passage, the disciples had a great fear. The fear came from seeing and feeling the strong wind and waves. But fear didn't come just from the wind and waves themselves. The real fear actually came from the insecurity they had. And their insecurity came because they forgot about the presence of Jesus and His authority. Just like the disciples, sometimes I think we have very similar fears in our own circumstances. But the authority of Jesus is present in every part of our lives. As we know, everything on earth, both visible and invisible, was made by the spoken words of God. And the Bible also says all things were made through Jesus. In Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 31, the one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. So through these passages, we know that Jesus came from heaven. He has his authority over all things on earth. And because of that, his words and teachings are far superior to any others. With this authority, Jesus calmed the waves and wind. He provided salvation for everybody on the boat. And this story actually points us to the greater salvation. Through his cross and resurrection, Jesus has the authority to bring us eternal salvation, no matter how sinful our lives look like today. And the same authority is present in our lives. Through the power of gospel, we know that we can be saved from uncertainty, anxieties, fears about the future, and frustrations from the repetitive sins and all other things. So today, let us turn to Jesus and find peace in His authority. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we turn to You and we acknowledge You as the Lord of all. You are alive in us and Your authority is present and strong in our lives. Help us to remember this and trust You throughout the day today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.